OpenAI, the company leading the artificial intelligence boom and the maker of ChatGPT, had a rather tumultuous weekend. The company has now had three CEOs in as many days, and its high-profile leader, co-founder and former CEO Sam Altman, has decamped to start a formidable rival embedded at Microsoft. Now even that seems in doubt, with some indications that Altman is still holding out hope for a return to OpenAI. Altman's departure puts OpenAI's $86 billion valuation at risk, which would hurt investors, executives, and employees with a stake in the company, right as they were gearing up to enter a financial agreement that would have allowed them to sell portions of their highly valued shares. And the events of this weekend underscore a larger debate that's been going on since AI burst into the zeitgeist at the beginning of the year over how to develop a potentially transformational technology safely and ethically. Critics are wary that Silicon Valley's move fast and break things ethos could have drastic consequences when it comes to a technology that some see as an existential threat to humans. Give me the TL. DR. What happened at OpenAI this weekend? On Friday afternoon, OpenAI's board removed Altman from his position, setting off feverish speculation in the tech world with a blog post saying that he hadn't been consistently candid in his communications. The board didn't elaborate on what he had not been candid about, and still hasn't. The company's CTO, Mira Marathi, was appointed interim CEO. There had been rumors of increasing tensions between Altman and his co-founder Ilya Sutskever, who had a seat on OpenAI's board. Somewhat caught in the middle was company president, co-founder Greg Brockman, who was removed as board chair, although not fired from the company, when Altman was ousted. Within several hours, Brockman also resigned from his C-suite role in solidarity with Altman. By Saturday, it was reported that Marathi was in talks to hire Altman and Brockman back at the company in different capacities. Altman seemed open to that possibility, even posting a picture of himself in the OpenAI office wearing a guest badge. First and last time I wear one of these, Altman wrote on X. The attempt to bring Altman back came after mass employee protests and Altman's allies, including Microsoft executives, pushing for his return. OpenAI's board refused to relent, pulling a shock move and hiring a replacement for the replacement. Twitch founder Emmett Shear, who sold his company to Amazon for about $1 billion in 2014. At this point, it became clear OpenAI wouldn't allow Altman to return to the company. By early Monday morning, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella had swooped in to hire Altman and Brockman to lead a newly founded research arm within the tech giant. Who is Sam Altman, anyhow? Altman has become a major figure in Silicon Valley and by far the most recognizable face in AI.